Okay, this is the case grabber. Now, this solves a problem which involves the collection of fired casings at a crime scene. Now, typically, casings are collected with gloved fingers and they're placed into a coin envelope like this or even in a box like that with or without cotton or a container like this with or without cotton. And then the problem is that recent research has shown that the movement of the, of the casings or even the contact with these surfaces can remove a, a considerable portion of the trace evidence, particularly the DNA. So in reaction to that, I developed the case grabber, which is this device here. This is a reusable device. Comes complete with the protective cover, and I'll show you how it works. This is the handle, and then this is the pickup tweezer. And what you do is you squeeze it together, you align it with the casing, let the, let the casing drop down, and now you have a very firm, secure re retention of this casing. It will not come off. Because what we have here is steel, stainless steel with sharp edges on this spring and that engages into softer aluminum or brass casings and it creates a very good fit. You, you will not be able to knock this off once it's on. And then once you have it retained, you take the protective cover and you snap it on and then you reach into the handle and there is a sealing tape and you place the tape around here and seal the uh, the tube to the handle and then you have um, a very secure very secure system for transporting the casing and once you get back to the lab you take the tape off remove the cover and there's the casing and you can read the head stamp you can swab it for DNA or examine it for fingerprints or any other trace evidence. And then once you're finished with uh, the uh, examination, you then you can place it in a coin envelope or whatever device you might want. But this is totally reusable. And this will also pick up 45 casings, of course, very easily. 223 rifle casings. A little tougher, but there's on there. Very secure. 762 by 39 with the AK 47 round. A popular one now, unfortunately. And even a 22 long rifle. It's a little tricky one, but that retains it very well right there. And that will not come off. Will not, you can't knock it off. Once again, you place the uh, protective tube over whatever casing you have, put the tape on it across here, and it's ready for transport and later examination. Now, an additional problem with collecting casings with gloved fingers is the potential for cross-contamination. If you have a crime scene with multiple casings and perhaps multiple shooters, by picking up one casing and placing it in, in whatever device you might have, a retainer, and then you pick up another one, you may be cross-contaminating that. You may be taking the DNA from this casing, placing it on this casing. This could be an important element if you have multiple shooters that need to be identified. So gloved hands are not a good idea on, on, on fired casings. And even if you pick them up like this, which might be a better way, but you're still making contact with the, with the casing itself. And studies have found that there's a lot of DNA in this area right here, around the rim and the head stamp. There's the testing they've done, they find a lot of DNA in there. So picking it up like this may not be a good solution. The good solution, I believe, is to use a case grabber. Very simple, pick it up like this. It's ready to go, it's retained. Put the cover on, you get the right end. <laughs> Put the cover on, put the tape on, and it's ready to go. 
Now, if you notice here, I also have these vinyl little, uh, little vinyl cushions on here, and that's just to protect your fingers because when you the spring is very strong, and if you were using your bare skin, your bare fingers on these, um, the spring will kind of imprint your skin into your your fingers. So the vinyl is just a cushion for softening the, uh, the tension. So you pick it up, seat it, place it in a container like that, and it's ready to go. And the case grabber is now available for sale and use. And you shouldn't go to a crime scene with one of these. You should go to a crime scene with you know, 10 or 20, depending on how many casings you usually have at a crime scene, which nowadays can be considerable. So that's the case grabber.